So today we're going to talk about a very deadly mushroom that you want to avoid eating, okay? But we're also going to talk about the antidote at the same time. So it's called the death cap mushroom. And there's a very specific chemical in this mushroom called alpha amatin. Now, this chemical has the ability to block RNA. RNA is like the template that helps build proteins. It's kind of like the blueprints of building a house. If you have no blueprints, things cannot be built. They cannot be repaired. And this specific chemical or toxin or poison goes directly to the liver. Now, within 12 to 24 hours, the person normally gets acute symptoms, digestive problems, bloating, gas, maybe some diarrhea. But then within the next 12 to 24 hours, you feel better. You actually feel well. And the taste of the mushroom is quite pleasant. So you're not necessarily going to notice that you're consuming this poisonous mushroom. But within 24 to 48 hours later, uh, you potentially can end up in a coma and die. And all it takes is consuming one half of this mushroom, which is enough to kill an adult. In fact, the poisoning of this mushroom accounts for the majority of deaths from all mushroom poisonings. This is the mushroom that killed the Roman Emperor Claudius at 54 AD. It is also the poisonous mushroom that killed the Holy Roman Emperor Charles VI in the year 1746. That is because this chemical is literally stopping the repair, any repair action of your liver. And if you know anything about the liver, all it does is repair. It's constantly repairing. It has robust reparative uh, properties. And so your liver literally dissolves to the point where there's nothing left. And of course, you're also going to have depleted antioxidants, specifically glutathione. So if you have all this free radical damage and no repair, you can see that this is a pretty serious situation. So of course, the best thing to do would be to go to the hospital, get your stomach pumped. There's a couple things, though, that are antidotes or treatments for this condition. One is activated carbon, okay? But the other one is milk thistle. Milk thistle has a phytonutrient called psilibinin, which is hepatoprotective. In other words, it protects against poisons and toxins. It also helps build new liver cells. So that would be a very powerful antidote. In addition to something that can act as a precursor to glutathione, so you can have the antioxidant uh, effects as well, and that's called NAC. So the combination of milk thistle and NAC is what you would want as an antidote to this poisonous, deadly mushroom. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies. 
with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.